I, I'm Tom Gaddick, the CEO of uh, Tier Solutions. I'm here to tell you about a product that we have in a phase two trial. Um, moving forward, uh, I should have paid attention. So um, we're an experienced and expert um, leadership team. Myself, I was involved in the discovery and development of Zydra. I'm one of the inventors. Uh, Gordon Laurie has found the compound that we're taking into the clinic, have taken into the clinic, Lacropep, and then a uh, number of other experienced people who have a lot of experience in front of the eye uh, and a lot of experience in dry eye. Um, we're taking uh, Lacropep uh, forward as a, in, in a patient population, primary Sjogren's syndrome, and by definition, all primary Sjogren's syndrome patients have dry eye. Uh, so we're treating dry eye associated with that syndrome. Um, the biology behind the Lacropep is uh, well worked out and published uh, in peer-reviewed publications. It heals the corneal surface, restores normal tear quality, and then um, restores sensory neurons at the uh, ocular surface. The uh, process and biology are all receptor mediated and understood. Um, and we believe at the end of the day that we will heal the corneal epithelium and that will decrease fluorescein corneal staining in the clinic. We're positioning the compound as a uh, replacement therapy. Uh, naturally occurring in the eye, the 19 amino acid peptide, um, and it restores homeostasis to the, and balance to the lipid, aqueous, and mucin, or mucin layers within the tear film and uh, it also restores the barrier function of the corneal epithelium. So Lacropep itself, uh, shown here in, in a, an experiment, this is not actually data. We're not subject to safe harbor. We're not publicly traded, so I can make slides that are Photoshopped. <laughs> and <laughs> this takes a image of the corneal epithelium, each individual cell. I cut some out on the left, put in a green dye, supposed to be fluorescein. Um, and, and so Lacropep is has been shown uh, preclinically to stimulate corneal epithelial cell regrowth uh, in a number of different instances. I'll show you another slide here. Oops, I'm going to back up. So um, the idea is that we would, in the clinic, reduce fluorescein corneal staining. And we'll measure mean change from baseline is, is our primary endpoint. Key secondary endpoint is eye dryness score. Um, the advantages of Lacropep uh, is that it's naturally occurring, discovered by Gordon Laurie uh, at the University of Virginia. And it's been brought forward originally as a protein and now a 19 amino acid fragment that captures all of that. We're positioning it as a replacement therapy um, all patients with dry eye have a deficiency in lacrotin and this 19 amino acid peptide in their tier, normal tier. Um, and then we're just getting it back up to normal levels. Uh, mechanism of action is different from other things on the market. Certainly Zydra is an anti-inflammatory and Restasis uh, stimulates tear production. So the we're in the, we have completed a phase two study, um, and the protocol looked at sending patients in through a uh, screening period when they're put on just our vehicle, see if they improve. If they do, they're out. Um, then we put them on, uh, we randomize them onto either placebo or two dose strengths of our drug, treat them for 28 days, come in for a couple visits along the way. And then we have kind of a washout period where we offer them uh, lubricating eye drops at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, treatment period. Data from an interim analysis that was masked indicates that there's a positive effect in the trial in a two to one binary uh, uh, bimodal response. Uh, fluorescein corneal staining improves in two thirds of the subjects and eye dryness improves in two thirds of the subjects. You can look in the lower left quadrant, the green zone, two thirds of two thirds of patients get better. That means the same patients are responding to both symptom and sign. That's never been seen before. So we're very positive about the outcome of this, this uh, study. 
Um, we do know from the, the phase two study that uh, the, the drug appears safe and well tolerated. Uh, there's been no serious adverse events and six patients have withdrawn out of the 204 subjects. The database is currently locked. We're awaiting data. I had hoped to be able to present some today and I apologize for that. Other, other diseases, well certainly you can look at dry eye, but you could consider this for post-LASIK to reheal the corneal epithelium and then post-cataract surgery again to reheal the, the epithelium. Um, our uh, technology behind this has been acknowledged by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office with a recent patent issuance. Um, this is what we want to do, want to present to uh, potential uh, partners, and that's it. Um, thank you.